Hello. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new site content UI that has been recently released by Microsoft. Much of the information was available back in May 2016, but recently the UI has been released out to farms in the cloud. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the new UI. So first of all, how do we get here? So if I take you back to the home page, usual standard site layout, and then you would either come down here to site content, or you may click the cog and then go to site content here. Either way, it's going to bring you out into this site content page. Now this is a complete change to what was in place certainly for myself a week ago um, and I'm sure it will be new to quite a lot of you uh, over the next couple of months as the release uh, takes place across all of the farms. So let's start from the top and work our way down. We, we still have the, the usual nav bar at the bar at the top and the follow and share. This is a new feature, if we click this, what you'll find here is the ability now to add a list, a custom list, and you get this new side panel come up to create that custom list, and with some new options to be able to set that up, and that, that's something new that didn't exist previously. We have the ability here to click and create a document library, so we'll go to this one and the usual UI for creating the document library. If we come back, if we want to add an app, if we click on the app, the usual UI that we're used to for adding apps to a site or subsite. And finally here, adding a subsite, and we'll look a little bit more detail at that shortly. So the next thing that we've got along the top here is site workflows. This will list any workflows that you've got running on your site. If we go back, site settings. This is a very familiar panel that I'm sure many of you are used to using um, and depending on what your level of administration is, depending on what your permissions are, depends on what you see here. And then the recycle bin. Now, obviously, an update here is the new view, where we can change from list to tiled view, and this gives us just a slightly different, unique look at the recycle bin um, that wasn't there before, and some just some nice little new features. So that's everything along the top bar. Uh, there's this new panel here. Um, letting you know that things are changing and if we click on got it it will remove it completely from the view then underneath that we have this new feature which is a little bit like analytics it's going to tell us about the number of views that we've had to this site and if we click here view report we're actually going to get some more statistics on, on what's been going on. Um, you get some metrics at the top here about what's happened. And this is a document and it shows you the level with this, this almost this progress bar, if you like, of level of interest views in that particular document. So coming back to the site content. This second box provides us with some information about current activity. Now obviously the more activity, the more data that you've got, you're going to see here. And again, looking forward to providing you with some live examples of this. And clearly it takes some time for that data to be pulled through and aggregated into, into this panel. But again, a welcome update. And if we click on view report, we go back to the same page here and it gives us those statistics. Then we have this panel on the right that just takes you through some of the different changes that are happening within SharePoint 2016 and Office 2016. And it, most of it is just informative and if you click 
on the orange links that will take you through to the various pages, your pages in, in your site. Underneath we have the content for this current site. Simply just by clicking this content tab and we have the ellipsis which provides us with the usual menu system of settings detail and remove for each one of these and obviously you could see here uh, there are some apps uh, as well as uh, other items folders in in this content area if I click on subsites we get the new subsites that have been added that are sit underneath this particular site in the hierarchy and if I click the ellipsis obviously it will take me to the site content for that subsite. Now one of the new features is the ability to be able to add subsites from this top panel. Previously you would add it from this section. So if we click this drop down box what we get is the subsite option here and if I left click we can now create a new subsite here and if I create create it what you will see when I navigate back to the site content area is the new subsite added in under here so you need to remember that if you want to add a subsite you need to come to this top menu now and click on this subsite button rather than uh, previously where, where the option was down, down here. Now if you wish to roll back these changes or manage these changes to the UI in SharePoint 2016 Office 365 what you need to do is go to your admin panel in Office 365 and from there go to settings and then organization profile and what we'll find here is this option release preferences choose how your organization gets new features and service updates for Office 365 the release track and the release track users now these are two different metrics. Now if I click edit we get a number of options. We could have the standard release and get updates when the re when we release them broadly. This means that they force the releases upon you eventually and you have no choice. You can have the first release for everybody and that means that uh, as soon as they're ready uh, they'll be rolled out throughout your organization or there's this option here first release for selected users and pick people to preview updates so that you can prepare your organization which is probably the most preferred in most organizations so that you can manage the releases um, to to your uh, organization and audience so if you need to alter how the new changes that Microsoft are launching in Office 365 and SharePoint are coming down then this is the panel to do it and this is where to do it and obviously you need to have administrative rights here to be able to manage these changes and then clearly if you do choose this option you would then need to decide who in your organization should preview it and maybe some change management processes um, and some testing to make sure that um, the gap is not too big for your organization to jump so this is the first look at the new UI for site content in SharePoint 2016. I hope this has been helpful. I will be posting another video with regards to the metrics and taking a look at um, what is actually displayed in some of these panels once uh, my, my deployment populates.